Last year was my first full year on YouTube. And in that one year, I made $613,960.75. But it wasn't always like that. You see, when I posted my first video on YouTube on February 17th, 2021, I didn't know how long it would take me to start making money with YouTube. I mean, at the very beginning, I was only averaging between five and 10 views per video. If a video got over like 20 views, that was considered really good for me. And because of this, I was obviously making $0 from YouTube for for kind of a long time. In fact, if I go into the back end of my channel, I've got it filtered to 2021 to show you just how little views my videos were getting. If you look closely at this chart here, you can see that on the day I posted my first video ever, which was February 17th, 2021, I got a whopping 12 views on that video. And honestly, I was kind of excited about that. You know, the fact that 12 random people decided to click on a video titled, Hi, I'm Joshua Mayo, just blew my mind. But then you can see that my next video, which was posted almost a month later on March 8th, 2021, that video only got four views. Yeah, you heard me right. I said four, four views. And then the next day, zero. And if I just scrub through this flat line here, you can see that my views are pretty much non-existent. Like, yes, I do get the occasional couple of views here and there. Occasionally, I'll get a little bit over 10 views. But for the most part, from the first day I posted on YouTube all the way until the beginning of May, I was getting virtually zero views. And just keep in mind, I was posting, you know, relatively consistently. I posted nine videos in total from March until May. And then I posted this video here, the top five best Vanguard ETFs. And as soon as I posted that video, my views spiked a little bit. You can see here, you know, a few hundred views and then 1500 views on one day. And so this video was definitely my biggest one yet compared to all my other videos that were getting like 10 to 20 views. And then after that, I had a couple of other, you know, really small spikes, a couple thousand views. But then after that, it's pretty much flat again. And I'm only getting a couple hundred views per day from May all the way until late October, minus like these three small spikes right here. And just keep in mind, okay, I had been consistently posting this entire time. Like some weeks I was even posting three videos. Now, most people would have given up at this point, right? I mean, we're talking about nine months of consistently posting videos, making no money, making no progress, seeing no results. And then in mid-October, everything changed when this video here randomly decided to go viral. The views and subscribers on my channel began exponentially increasing. And as a result, my income also began exponentially increasing. You can see here from the top of 2021, when I first started this channel, all the way until about mid-September 2021, I was making zero dollars on YouTube, right? Zero dollars, flat line the entire time. And then on September 10th, 2021, I made my first one dollar and 16 cents on YouTube. And I was making a couple of dollars per day from mid-September until late October when that video began going viral. And then from that point, my YouTube income began increasing. You can see here, $12 in one day, $22, $35, $68, peaks at $167 on November 2nd, 2021, and then it kind of fluctuates between $60 and $100 per day through the end of the year and jumps one last time at the end of the year with a $206 day on December 29th, 2021. And so in 2021, my total income from YouTube was $7,748.31. But then if I go up here and filter it from 2021 to the year 2022, you can see a very different story unfold. And it's from this point that we'll begin breaking down exactly how I made over $613,000 last year on YouTube, what income sources I had, and what my goals are for this year, 2023. And so let's start off right away with doing an income breakdown to show you exactly how I made this money. So my income on YouTube last year was broken down into three major categories, ads, sponsors, and affiliates. And these were the three biggest income sources for my YouTube channel last year. And what we'll do is kind of work backwards and first start off with talking about sponsors, which was actually my small smallest YouTube income source last year. Now for most YouTubers, sponsorships actually make up the largest percentage of their income. But for me, and that may change this year, but for me, sponsorships actually made up the smallest percentage of my income. And so last year for sponsorship income, I made a total of $105,234.59. Now this may come as a shock for some of you that this was actually considered my lowest source of income. And the main reason for this is because I really didn't start taking on sponsorships until about April of 2021. And even then, my channel was still much smaller back then, and so the amount of money that I was making per sponsorship was still much smaller than what it is now. And so this year, that number will be substantially higher, but you know, last year it was smaller. Next is affiliate income from affiliate marketing, which was my second largest income source. Affiliate marketing is when you make money by promoting someone else's product or service, typically through an affiliate link. An example of this would be, let's just say I made a video about how I film my YouTube videos, right? And in that video, I mentioned that I use a Sony A7S 
S3 camera. I then mentioned that if you want to buy the camera that you can use the link down below in the description which would lead you to amazon.com where you can then buy the camera. And so now every time someone goes to my video description, clicks on the Amazon link and then proceeds to buy the camera or anything closely related to the camera such as a lens, mic, SD card or perhaps a light, I'll earn a commission from that sale. But last year with affiliate marketing I earned $146,141.21. And again, this may come as a complete surprise that that was only my second largest source of income. And the best part is that it was mostly all passive. And finally, let's talk about my largest source of income, which was YouTube ads. And I think that this is the income stream that most of you are interested in. And so what I'm going to do is really go in and break this income down, okay? So I'm going to show you guys the behind the scenes of my YouTube dashboard and just really kind of spend some time breaking this down. And so first things first, in total last year for YouTube ads, I made $362,500. $84.88. So the biggest question that I think a lot of you will have, uh, minus, you know, how much did you actually earn from YouTube ads, which I just showed you. But the biggest question that I think most of you will have is what exactly was my average RPM? Because for a channel my size to earn over $362,000 on YouTube from ads in one year is kind of crazy considering that there are channels about five times my size who are still not earning this much from ads. Now, if you don't know what RPM is, it stands for revenue per Mila, not mile, not milli, but Mila, which is the French word for thousand. And so the RPM or revenue per Mila is how much money you earn for every thousand views on your YouTube channel. And so the higher this number is, the more money you'll make per thousand views. Now in general, the average RPM for most YouTube channels sits between three and four dollars. You can see here, someone on Reddit says that they're a musician with an RPM of between three and four dollars and get roughly 1.5 million views per month, which generally earns them between six and seven thousand dollars per month. And these numbers are pretty much the average for most channels depending on what type of content you make. But for my channel, 1 million views would earn me between 20 and $40,000. And once again, this has everything to do with my RPM. Because while most YouTube channels have RPMs that sit between $3 and $4, my channel RPM fluctuates on some months to as high as $40. And on average, for the year of 2022, my RPM is about $21.20. Also, it's important to mention that the RPM literally changes every single day. And so on one day, my RPM might jump up to, you know, 30, $35. And then the next day it's back down to 25, $20. But for YouTube channels that talk about things like money, finance, investing, things like that, our channel RPMs tend to be significantly higher than most other YouTube channels because the advertisers that are advertising on our videos are willing to pay a lot more money. As you can see in the month of October, my average RPM was almost $30. In November, it was $27 and 43 cents on average. And in December, it was $21 and 34 cents on average. You may also notice that there's another number here that's uh, higher than the RPM, which is the CPM. And CPM stands for cost per Mila. And the CPM is how much money you'll make before YouTube takes their cut of the pie. And the RPM is what you'll receive after YouTube's cut. Now compared to 2021, when I was making $0 from the month of February to September, this year tells a different story. And it's really fascinating to see the growth of my income on YouTube just by looking at this chart right here, right? So you can see at the very beginning of the year on January 1st, I was doing about 150 per day. But if I just keep scrubbing here along this timeline, you can see that the income slowly begins increasing as the months go on. As I continue posting content and remaining consistent, it gets to a point where I'm earning over $1,000 per day from just YouTube ads alone. And then you can see here toward the end of the year, I'm now at a point where I'm hitting over $2,000 on a single day from ads. Okay, so that was last year, 2022. What exactly are my income goals for this year in 2023? I think that there's a certain power to speaking your goals out loud. Even if you're not physically writing your goals down, I've personally never done that, but I have always been pretty public about my goals. Back on my, I think, third video on this channel, in that video, I said it was my goal to hit 100K subscribers by the end of 2021. And I didn't reach that goal, but I did quickly reach it in the first quarter of 2022. And then last year, in 2022, I set a goal to reach half a million dollars in YouTube income for the year. Bro, this month, I remember that he was like trying to get 500K at first, mm -hmm. but then you were aiming higher because, bro, that dude was coming fast. Groups. And I did exactly that. I achieved it. I also said last year in 2022 that it was my goal to reach 1 million subscribers by the end of this year, 2023. Of course, got the 100K plaque right there. 1 million coming at you soon. 1 million next year. 
and I know for a fact that I'm gonna reach that goal. And in terms of income, my goal for this year is to reach $2 million in combined income for the year. And so 1 million subscribers and $2 million in total income for the year 2023. Those are my goals, and the way that I'm gonna achieve them is just by simply focusing on one day at a time. Small victories day after day, week after week, month after month will eventually lead to massive victories when compounded over time. And I implore you guys to do the exact same thing for your lives. Set really ambitious goals for yourself this year. Make promises to yourself, but then actually keep those promises. And if you guys are interested in learning more about how I personally set my goals and then what systems I use to actually accomplish those goals, comment down below that you'd like to see a video about how to achieve your goals. And if more than, let's say, 20 people comment, I'll make that video. You guys are all truly amazing. Every single one of you watching, I mean that. And I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day or night. And as always, I will see you again very soon. Take care.